Okay, so have you seen any of the headlines yet? No. Stanford astrophysicists report first detection of light from behind a black hole. What? For the first time, light has been directly observed from behind a supermassive black hole. So you haven't seen this. No. Are you intrigued? Yes, it be behind a black hole. Me or Earth black hole behind. Oh, so it's not like showing its rear to us. <laughs> so this is interesting for a couple reasons. One, why would the light from behind the black hole make it around? Second reason is that the fact that we can distinguish the light coming from in front of and coming from behind the black hole. How would they possibly know that the light is coming from behind the black hole and not in front of it? Any guesses as to how we do that? Can we see the shape of the black hole? No. <laughs> So imagine taking a car headlight into the distance. Would you be able to see the shape of the headlight? No, you wouldn't be able to tell like a, a square a Ford headlight from like around, I don't know, yeah. old 1930s headlight. You wouldn't be able to tell. All you'd be seeing is a little point, right? So how could you possibly see the shape or structure of anything in this black hole when it's not in the distance of a few miles away, when it's 800 million light years away? Visible light. No, x-rays. Oh, it's only x-rays? It's only x-rays. Oh. So another really cool thing about this is that we would not have been able to do this kind of astronomy until a few decades ago because we didn't have x-ray telescopes. What astronomers saw was they're like, okay, so we see these x-ray bursts coming from the black hole. They're like, cool, like we want to study those. And then they saw there are these other bursts coming a little bit later that are a little bit fainter and a little bit different color. So some of the light is coming from in front of and some's coming from behind. So it's gonna take longer for the light that's coming from behind the black hole to get to us. So there's gonna be actually a time delay. That's one, one clue. Another thing is, and this is really weird. So if you look at the color of the light uh, coming from the front and the back, they're different different colors. Any idea why? No. <laughs> I could figure that out in a hundred years. <laughs> That's kind of a tricky one to explain. Actually, I should explain the structure of the black hole. So this is uh, called the accretion disk. Have you ever heard of that? Accreting in astronomy just means like gathering, pulling stuff in toward you. So an accretion disk is this thing that forms when the black hole is just like sucking in stuff from all around, tends to form this disk around the black hole, spinning. The actual light that we're seeing is coming from somewhere else. So before we talk about why the x-rays coming from in front of and behind the black hole are different colors, we have to talk about where the x-rays originally came from. The source of the x-rays in this black hole are essentially these flashes of x-rays that happen. And the reason that they happen is kind of crazy. It's this weird phenomenon that happens. Have you ever seen the solar flares when you get those like weird shaped curves? So you get very similar things around a black hole. When you get so much stuff and it's getting accelerated so fast around such a strong or such a big object like a black hole, you get like electrons ripping off of the protons and atoms. All this stuff just creates this spinning soup of crazy charged stuff and that produces really, really strong magnetic fields. So super strong magnetic fields, then you get these magnetic field lines that end up arcing and bending just like they do in solar flares. And eventually sometimes they'll snap and break and that process releases a bunch of x-rays. So that's the source of your x-ray bursts, almost like the light bulb. And then the light's shining down. The light's coming down to the back of the black hole and reflecting out, and then it's coming down to the front of the black hole and reflecting out. The light is, you know, interacting with, like bumping into, they call it reverberating, like different parts of this black hole accretion disk. And you're getting some light that comes out at a different color than the light in the back. The reason why it changes the color of the light is like in light, in like light collisions, you change the color. So if you've got like light coming down onto one part of the disc that's moving in a different direction or different speed than behind, then you're gonna get different, we call it red shifting and blue shifting. So that was the piece that I didn't fully understand when I first read these articles. But I still think it's super interesting how light that came from outside the black hole came down here to behind it. How could that get to us? It can't go through the black hole because black holes don't allow any light to escape. So any guesses? Well, it's, it's not light bending around. It is. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. genius. Um, a lot of the, the articles describing what's going on are like, we've confirmed Einstein's theory of general relativity, which is true because what the theory says is that large objects actually warp space time. That's what gravity is. And what that does is it allows light to bend around objects. Light is the thing that we use to draw a straight line. You know, like we use a laser beam to draw a straight line. It's pretty groundbreaking that large objects can actually warp space time. Okay, so a lot of these articles are talking about how we're seeing for the first time, like we're confirming Einstein's theory of general relativity. We've already confirmed this before. We've seen something called gravitational lensing many times. And if you never heard of it, lucky you, because it's amazing. This right here is a blue galaxy behind this galaxy. It's not a circular shaped galaxy. It's Instead of going off and you never see it, it's actually bending around the galaxy and bending toward you. So we've seen this before, for decades we've seen gravitational lensing, and that's the same phenomenon that confirms Einstein's theory of general relativity. We're just seeing a really, really extreme version of it here. The only way we're able to see light from behind a black hole is because of general relativity. That's nuts. Einstein. You were right. The coolest part to me is how creative these astronomers were in figuring out how to distinguish whether light was coming from in front of and behind. It was the first time we've ever seen anything like this. That's cool. But people are like, what are you gonna do with an, with an X-ray telescope? Like, what are you gonna see? What's gonna tell us that something was different? You're seeing things like this, an X-ray source that bounces off, reverberates around the accretion disk of a black hole and then tells you from a freaking point source, 800 million light years away, what the black hole looks like. It's amazing. All right, that's your astronomy for the day. I'm so happy. So the reason I wanted to do this video is because my friend Ian from Smosh texted me an article about this. He's like, check this out, because it was trending on Twitter. And then Jabril also tweeted out, he's like, I'm gonna need an explanation on this. <laughs> So if you guys have any random things that are trending on Twitter, or maybe if there are any scientists out there that maybe want to tell me before the news hits Twitter and I can teach Levi about it, please send it my way. Yeah. <laughs> we thank you for watching. Thank them. <laughs> thank them. Thank you. Yeah, and happy physicsing. <laughs>